So here's one for the uh, WTF files. Um, what I've got here, it just looks like a ordinary bit of um, wood, rotting wood that's laying around in abundance around here with a uh, little slimy mushroom on it. Um, nothing at all unusual about that. Um, can't tell you much about the mushroom. It's uh, slimy and a mushroom. <laughs> Excitement plus, I know. Uh, something very unusual about this though. Um, it's quite late at night. I've just got home. Walking back from the shed, I could see something standing out. Um, I'm going to have to show you on the flip camera because this one just doesn't quite show it. Alright, so after looking at the footage I just took, it um, doesn't turn out on the computer as good as what it does on the uh, viewfinder of the camera, unless I brighten the shit out of it like this, but hopefully this will show a little bit better. There we go. Hopefully that looks a bit better on uh, camera now. So I'm going to have to do some googling on this and see if I can find out anything about it. Um, I have heard of glow-in-the-dark mushrooms before but uh, certainly not around here. So if anyone knows anything about it, uh, tell us in the comments or send me a message because it's uh, certainly a first for me. Um, I was just walking across the shed and could see something glowing in the dark. I thought one of the kids must have dropped the toy or something but uh, picked it up and yeah, it was a bit of wood. Huh. Didn't realise what it was till I got it in the light. So, the closest thing I've been able to find on Google is something called a wild neon green mushroom. Um, and they look rather similar. Scientific name is Mycena chlorophos. They emerge during the rainy season in Brazilian and Japanese forests. So it's a little bit far from home on the east coast of Australia, but um, we have had an unusual amount of rain the last uh, six weeks or so, so that kind of fits the bill. Um, so yeah, whether it's some sort of different variety, but it uh, does look very similar. So, who knows?